You ever gone to close your RV door and it just doesn't happen, gets stuck, doesn't work, makes a really loud creaking sound, all sorts of different issues can happen. So today I'm gonna to walk you through a couple of those, talk a little bit about troubleshooting, some things we can hopefully do to avoid it, or if it is happening, how we're going to fix it. Let's start off with some general care tips. First off, folks, one of the things people don't understand is while you should have to apply a reasonable force, you shouldn't have to apply excessive force to shut your RV door. It should shut pretty easily, as you can see this one does here. If you're having to slam it shut, there's generally something else going on. Uh, a couple of quick things you always wanna check after every trip. One, check your screws right here uh, on your latch as well as on your striker plate. You wanna make sure those are in position. If they become misaligned, you're gonna have an issue, so make sure that you're checking those. And also, every time you're done camping, clean off the latch here. Uh, you can just take like a mild detergent like dish soap and a rag, clean it off a little bit, and then use something like this, a, a silicone lubricant, spray it on there, work that in a little bit so that way it's opening and closing easier. A lot of times you'll just get dirt and grime in there after repeated use, and that is what is making it difficult to close. Okay, so one of the first things we wanna check, uh, probably one of the most common, is that something just got loose. So what you wanna do is check all your handles and latches, and again, just make sure all the screws are tight. You can take a Phillips head and simply you know, check right here. Uh, we'll wanna check and make sure on our screen attachment that this is um, latching properly, because if your screen isn't latching properly, sometimes that will make it really difficult for your outside door to open. Uh, again, same thing on the handle, and then our striker plate as well. As I mentioned, we wanna make sure both for our outside door, our exterior door, as well as our screen door, that our striker plates are exactly where they should be. So another issue that you may have is a broken lock. And if it is broken, we have to fix it. So in order to do that, you'll want to take off the locking mechanism by taking out the old screws. Uh, you'll want to make sure you either consult your owner's manual to find what parts you need or take it into your local camping world so that they can get you the right parts, which possibly they may have on hand, and then install those new parts. So again, if you are doing it yourself, it is imperative that you use the new screws that come with that lock when you are installing it. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, something that commonly happens is your latch just gets gummed up. It is a mechanical part, so over time there will be wear and tear, you will get dirt, dust, and grime in there. So again, you want to clean that off and then use lubricant and kind of work it into that latch. That will give it the opportunity to slide a little bit easier and a lot of times that in itself will fix the issue with your door. If you just set up camp and all of a sudden your door isn't opening or closing, a lot of times what it can actually be is either that your camper isn't level. So again, make sure you take a level back to front, side to side. And also make sure you didn't overextend your stabilizer jacks. A lot of times people will do that. And what actually happens is if we overextend this front, for example, it's gonna lift up that front just enough but sometimes it'll make it so the door won't open or close properly. So in that, if that's the case, I recommend backing those off a little and then trying the door and see if that fixes your issue. Another issue you may find is that your strike plate is misaligned. And as I mentioned earlier, you wanna make sure everything is tightened up, but if uh, you didn't quite make that happen and it got misaligned, when you go to close it, a lot of times your door just won't latch. It won't stay shut or it closes barely and then it's really hard to get open. And oftentimes that is what is going on. So in that instance, what you wanna do is actually take your door and you're going to very slowly close and watch and see where it's hitting on that strike plate to make sure that it's hitting in the right place. And if you need to move it, then obviously we just loosen these screws right here and you have the flexibility to move it around. Now, in the event that something happens and uh, it just isn't catching at all, like it's lined up correctly, but it's just too far, what you can actually do is put some washers right back here, and that will actually extend out far enough that that will a lot of times help your door latch catch. All right, and probably the most common thing I see, the most common reason your door is not opening or closing or it's making this awful grinding noise is because you have a solid step system like this, which is wonderful unless your steps don't sit low enough. A couple different things can happen. One, someone may extend the feet too much, and in that case, it's sitting up like this. And this plate right here sits up too high and your door will hit it. And it may be just enough where it's scraping and it's really hard to open or close. In that case, it's obviously an easy fix. You just change the feet so it drops down a little bit and that will give you that nice uh, open and closing swing. 
Another thing that may happen is, let's say for example, it comes up right here, it raises up, and you can't get your steps low enough. You have the feet all the way in and it's still too high. If that's the case, what you actually have to do is move the trailer and put it up on blocks. Because if you can't lower the steps, you have to raise the trailer. That will allow the steps to get low enough so that way you can eliminate that issue. All right, folks, remember if you need to replace any components, be sure to consult your owner's manual so you can get the correct part numbers to make sure you're ordering the right part. If you don't have an owner's manual or you need some help, feel free to bring your RV into a local Camping World service center so we can take a look for you. Or if you want, use our mobile tech service. We'll send a mobile tech out to you so they can get it replaced right at your campsite. Hopefully this video helped you out with any door issues you may be having. If it did, be sure to hit that like button. If a friend or family member is having door issues and you're sick of hearing that thing squeak, be sure to share this video with them. Also, if you wanna see more how-to and troubleshooting information, be sure to subscribe so you can be one of the first ones to check it out. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and until next time, we'll see you.